What's up, everybody? We are back with another pop culture deep dive, and this time we're talking about Nikki Gilbert versus P Valley. Yes, Nikki Gilbert from Brownstone is calling out the creators of P Valley, accusing them of stealing her concept. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, this month marked the beginning of the second season of P Valley on Stars. Now, R&B star and producer Nikki Gilbert is continuing to assert that the idea for the show was actually taken from her. After the premiere episode of P-Valley aired in July of 2020, the show was quickly picked up for a second season. Now, viewers felt the star series was really entertaining and they were interested in finding out more about the pink crew down in the Mississippi. P-Valley actually follows a group of exotic dancers and their quirky non-binary boss, Uncle Clifford, played by Nico Anand, as they strive to strike a balance between their personal and professional lives. The Katuri Hall-written series P-Valley has received mixed reviews from critics despite the fact that celebrities like Megan Thee Stallion, who attended the show's second season, Red Carpet Debut, have lauded the show with praise. Now, Nikki Gilbert from the famed R&B group Brownstone, also formerly a star and producer of the hit series R&B Divas, claims that the production company behind P-Valley stole her idea from a theatrical play that she had written in the past in order to develop what she called a mediocre adaptation for television. Now, Nikki has made it clear that she intends to fight for what she believes is her story, she actually initiated legal action in January, accusing Lionsgate Entertainment and Stars of infringing on her copyright and filing the suit in California. She claims that there are an excessive number of parallels between the show and the musical stage play that she wrote and performed in 2011 titled Soul Kittens Cabaret. On July 12, 2020, the first episode of the Star Show premiered, and it begins with a nameless woman escaping her community after it has been destroyed by a flood. Following her arrival in the Mississippi town, she competes in and wins a one-night-only edition of the Booty Bucket competition held at The Pink. She then requests a position there permanently. Gilbert gave a scathing critique of the show in a video that was shared on her Instagram account and it included the following points. She said, I have seen the reviews, the real reviews, not the ones that are bot generated or that they paid for. The actual reviews written by the real people who watched the show, written by the real lovers of the show, and it indicates that the show did not give what it was supposed to give. Now, she continued on about this new season saying, I feel like some of the incredibly talented people like the Mercedes character and Uncle Clifford were underutilized. My gut tells me that if you're going to try to pull a fast one on everyone and make them think that you're a professional writer, but I have a, fe a bad feeling about this one. For those of you guys who don't know, in the 1990s, Nikki was the lead singer for the hit R&B trio Brownstone. So after the band disbanded, she began a career in acting and has since been in recurring or guest roles on a number of television programs, including Martin, Living Single, Sister Sister, and more. After that, Nikki began a solo music career in the early 2000s and started writing songs for her albums around the same time. Her first attempt at writing a play was in 2003, and it was Soul Kittens Cabaret. According to what Nikki disclosed to the Jasmine brand in January of 2022, the formation of Soul Kittens Cabaret was motivated by her own experiences in her youth. Nikki spent most of her childhood in the company of other dancers, including a woman named Lawanda, who served as her first as the first example of like a transgender person, quote, Nikki's mother was also a cabaret singer and also danced professionally. She added that she purchased the rights to her play in 2005 and that it had been made available on DVD. Now, following the release of the DVD for Soul Kittens Cabaret, Nikki launched the reality show R&B Divas on TV One. She stated that she had presented a spinoff to the play to Lionsgate in 2014 around the same time but the studio did not go along with her proposal. 
Nikki then moved on to other projects, but she saw a similarity between Katori's stage piece, Pussy Valley, and Soul Kitten's Cabaret, which was later transformed into the television show, P Valley. Nikki alleged that other people, including her husband, Leonard Daniels, pointed out the parallels between Soul Kitten's Cabaret and P Valley to her. So in P Valley, as well as in Nikki's play, there is a gender fluid and lovable character, as well as threats of closure from a local businessman wishing to create a casino. P Valley is also in danger of being shut down because the local businessman wants to build a casino. Fans of P Valley should be familiar with this plot because it played a significant role in the first season of the show. Nikki has also argued that the writer took small subtleties from her characters, such as the shy new girl visiting the cabaret, which was inspired by Autumn Knight, played by Alerica Johnson, who is the main character in P-Valley. Nikki made the decision not to sue the writers of P-Valley at first, despite the fact that she had seen the changes. She was unable to avoid being judged, therefore she made the decision to now keep her artistic creations a secret. Nikki has also voiced her opinions over the show via, via various social media platforms as well. So following the start of season two, Nikki proceeded to critique the writing that Katuri had done, despite the fact that P-Valley had received a hefty amount of praise after its debut. Nikki commented on Instagram that it's so clear that the writer of last night's episode had no idea where to take this tale because she didn't write it, quote, this was in reference to the fact that the episode wasn't written by Nikki, according to her. She said, I have yet to find an instance in which said writer has expressed an original idea or concept. She continued by saying, I don't care how much money the machine pumps into her or how many prizes or honors she receives. You can't try to mislead people by retelling the events and experiences of other people. So Katori and the rest of the actors from P-Valley have not commented publicly on Nikki's allegations. So that's it for this video. What do you guys think? Are the allegations against the P-Valley creators from Nikki Gilbert, are they legitimate? Do you guys think that there's a similarity or do you guys think that Nikki Gilbert is blowing smoke? Let us know in the comments section down below and we hope to see you soon in our next video.